We're going. All right, price of neutrality. We've returned to Kaer Morin to do something. I wonder if there'll be voice acting in this one or if I'm going to kill myself with all this voicing. Oh, in. Master Dandelion, Master Dandelion, do you promise to survive it? Yes, yes. Of battles and brave of warriors. Of sorceresses and magic. Of unrequited love. Silence, brats! You've not been in this world for long, so it is no surprise your heads are hollow. Oh, this wow. is Dandelion, friend and companion of Geralt of Rivia. Who might he sing of if not of the famed Witcher? Right you are, honorable dwarf. I shall sing a fresh new ballad about White Wolf. Our story begins long before the Great War, decades before Geralt ever dreamed he would be famous. Its title, Bitter Evil Hearts. In the fall of 1232, the Witcher decided to return early to Kaer Morn, fearing the quick advent of winter. Okay. Okay. Is this before it got wrecked up, or is it still going to be wrecked up? Oh, hey, I got some fancy armor The Witcher on. was angry. The final stretch through northern Kedwin was usually calm, but not this time. He was twice ambushed by bandits. Then one night, wolves attacked and killed his horse. He had grown accustomed to the kindly gray mare he had traditionally christened Roach. To make matters worse, at the foot of Kaer Morn, he encountered a camp. Like all witchers, he believed the fingers of one hand would suffice to count the people who knew the way to the witcher's fortress. Visitors were a sign of trouble. Weren't there six people at the very beginning? You've earned talents. <laughs> I guess this is just how it works. Holy crap, 59 bronze talents. Uh, yeah, okay, I'll take strength, I'll take strength. I'll take dexterity, dexterity. Intelligence, intelligence. Um, I don't know if potion brewing is gonna matter much. Oh, those are story abilities. Yeah, I'm not gonna take fist fighting moves. Nope. Yeah. Yeah. Nope. No. No. Watch, it'll turn, it'll turn out that there's lots of, like, alcohol in this one. Is there going to be herbalism in this? I don't know. Let's max that out. That. 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 I don't even know what some of these do. Yeah, whatever. Actually, no. Oh, there's no way to undo a single one though, right? Oh, there is. Keep those ones. Three opponents. That one, that one. Yeah, that works. Is there any I can get rid of? Because I would like fire too.
Oh, no, that's a good one. Alright, I would like some fire. Alright, and for silver, it's almost certainly going to be like this and this. Like that and that. And that and that. And that. And how do I... Where's the hourglass? Did it work? Oh my god. Did that not work? What's going on? Okay, it works. Oh. Uh, okay, the game's saving for me. Let's see, if I knew I wasn't going to be fighting any monsters, I could focus on one or the other. Hi, friends. Perhaps we should return to Cairngorm. I have no desire to perish in this wilderness forsaken by the gods. Silence, Merwin. They are but wolves. Wolves that fearlessly attack an encampment thick with campfires. I ask your forgiveness, mistress, but these are but wolves, like I am but an elven shoegirl. Did anyone ask for your opinion, Mr. Brings? No? Then start doing what you are being paid for. And keep your hopelessly cowardly opinions to yourself. We would all be safe if your boys manned their stations, instead of constantly playing dice while bathing in drink. Now take away this corpse before its stench fills my tent. Can I ask what happened? Wolves killed a boy. Nothing unusual about it happening in a camp. It's commonly known that wolves, the cursed beasts, love flames so much that they bathe in them if they could. Enough, Brings. Who are you, sir? Geralt of Rivia. Witcher. Prince Merwin Adamain of Ard Karaig. Kind of you to visit, finally. We've been awaiting your response all day. Response regarding... I'll explain. I'm Sabrina Glevesig, sorceress. Come see me at my tent. Merwin, I assume you won't mind my handling this matter? No, though I will want to know what you agree. It'll have to wait, whatever it is. Wolves approach. To arms! Okay, then. <laughs> Guys, oh yeah, I get that. I have learned the reason for the unexpected visit. Whoa, whoa, oh, mutilated corpse. I mean, I don't have anything else in that spot, so I do. Eh, whatever. So you finally decided to approach me. Good. Are you able to read? I am. Then read this scroll. To my barons, vassals, and all free subjects. Go on, go on. Let it be known far, wide, and by all, that I hereby declare Merwin of Cainghorn to be our loyal and trusted servant, and to be loved by us, thus rendering all who cause him grief liable to incur our royal wrath. Henselk, King of Kedwin. Good enough. Understood? Indeed. Though grief is spelled differently. I see you are quick. So you accept that if the witchers wish to travel freely and unmolested about Kedwin, they should not cause me grief, no matter how the term is spelt. You don't seem like anyone's causing you grief. Not yet, no. But that may change, and my patience has its limits. I wanted to ask you something. Hmm? Did I? May I ask what brings you to care, Morin, sir? My sister, Deirdre. She is my elder, and in Kedwin, the eldest offspring inherits all titles and estates, no matter the gender. My father, Prince of Cairngorm, may he rest in peace, passed on two weeks ago, a victim of syphilis. So Deirdre is now Princess of Cairngorm? She would be, if not for the curse that holds her. Anyone aspiring to the throne of Cairngorm must fulfill two additional conditions. 
Cairngorm is a vassal state of Kedwin. For decades, the princes of the north have bowed before the throne at Ard Kareg, a throne currently occupied by King Henselt, who has made his opinion on the issue of cursed princesses very clear. I think I get it. And the second condition? Do you know Cairngorm's history, Witcher? Not well. We have this custom whereby any aspiring ruler, prior to assuming the throne, must spend a day amongst the duchy's simple folk, execute a series of menial tasks, and pray in the Temple of Freya in the evening. Sounds reasonable. The problem is, my sister has displeased the simple folk in the past, and though she most probably could bribe a few prominence, the priestesses of Freya will never accept her. I see. I should be clear about this. I wish Deirdre to relinquish all claims to her title as princess and to assist Miss Glevesig, for her own good. Can I ask a personal question? You may. What's your connection to Sabrina Glevesig? Mutual respect. That's evident enough. Hmm. Okay, bye. Um, let's just go in here. Wait, what? Okay, magic. Welcome to Mistress Sabrina's tent. In case you're wondering, this is an illusion. Everything? Yes. But, my dear Witcher, it's an illusion of rare quality. In fact, it barely differs from reality. No matter. Suit yourself. I assume you are returning to Care Morin for the winter. You assume correctly. <sighs> Enough of the small talk. We have important things to discuss. Thank you for your help with the wolves. No problem. You've heard of the curse of the Black Sun, Witcher. The curse of the Mad Mage Eldebald. I believe he started the whole mess that led to several dozen nobly born women being murdered or imprisoned in towers. Alderbord was no madman, and there is no doubt that women were not entirely normal. Madness, normality, it's prattle steeped in relativity. Tell me something specific. Autopsies were performed. The mutations witches undergo are but a minor clinical operation compared to those caused by the curse of the Black Sun. The skulls and spines of these girls contained red sponge of some kind. Their internal organs were in disarray, some missing altogether. Everything covered in moving cilia and pink yeah. scraps. What say you to that? Nothing. I've seen humans with eagle talons instead of hands, with wolf fangs and eyes, people with additional joints, all products of mages fumbling with magic. It's no proof of a curse. We digress. Why are you here? A girl affected by the curse of the Black Sun is inside Kaer Morin. Princess Deirdre Adamain, elder sister of Merwin. What do I have to do with this? Don't play the fool. That girl is a serious threat to you. Surrender her to me and no one will get hurt. I'll think about it. Oh. Sabrina, I wish to have a word with you. Naturally, Merwin, but not now. I have several matters to discuss with Geralt of Rivia. Is there anything I should know? Don't fret. We will confer later. In that case, I shall take my leave. Ooh. Okay. Rubbish removed. Perhaps I should beat the rugs. Witcher? Do I have any money? Ah, I have 500 orange. Huh. You must be bored out here. Well, in truth, the valley provides little in the way of diversion for the civilized, and my illusory boy is no longer as entertaining as he used to be. You could get Briggs' men to put on a show. I said diversion for the civilized. I prefer some cultured conversation. Mm -hmm. If you lack words at the moment, I could request something more pertinent to the witcherly profession. I require some materials for my research. Materials? I wish to study the wolves that lurk about the campsite. I need a vital <sighs> organ, let's say the liver. Twenty oh. of them. In exchange, I will give you a sword that I in turn received from one of my lovers. I believe you'll make good use of it. Could be some Fine. double entendre you there. As you want. Maybe. That's kind. You're much nicer than that boar Lambert. Uh, 
I've heard nothing to convince me that the girl is cursed. What proof can you offer? Quite a bit. All the girls born soon after the eclipse were discovered to be inclined towards cruelty, aggressive, prone to attacks of wrath and wildness. Were any attempts made to lift the curse? Indeed, using higher magic. All girls subjected to it merely perished. That discredits you mages, not the girls. I guess only the dead were dissected? Not only. They continued to rampage, and a decision was made to eliminate all. Several, <laughs> many were eliminated. All were dissected. One underwent vivisection. You mages can really be impudent. Inclined towards cruelty, you say? Sabrina, there will come a day when people will come after you. I don't think so. The mages were protecting humans. The mutants would have drowned entire lands in blood. Yet you were right in some sense. We changed our tactics. Instead of killing them, we decided to isolate and study them. Special towers were erected, designed to quell the mutants' magic abilities. And to avoid being locked away, princesses fled. Maybe they just couldn't believe your intentions were noble when they learned of the vivisections and assassinations. True, to some extent. Yet the penchant that princes developed for rescuing princesses and towers was our real bane. The young ones who had little to lose were especially determined. Fortunately, most fell and broke their necks. Not all, though. Many girls escaped, and now they seek revenge. In brief, yes. Okay, then. What do you aim to do with Deirdre? See if the curse can be removed. Study it, and finally and ultimately conclude the matter of the curse of the Black Sun. Contrary to what you believe, I intend to make her an offer. If she can find the will to aid me, it will only ease things for all of us. And if she doesn't agree to help? I shall force her. Yes, Geralt, for the greater good, I will bow at nothing. For I stand to save hundreds, perhaps thousands. You may not believe me, <sighs> but there are more women of this kind. Many rule entire lands with a cruel hand. I am to report to the Council of Mages. The first trustworthy report, containing specific results. I must examine the girl, and that is precisely what I will do. Nothing and no one will stop me. I'm coming down from an urge drink, that's why I'm so yawning. Sure about that? Don't threaten me, Witcher. All of Kedwin's might stands behind me. King Hensolt is eating out of my hand. You wouldn't dare. We'll see. Witcher? Have you spoken to the other Witchers? Who is at the castle? Merwin spoke to two of them. There may be more, I don't know. Merwin was not let inside. That shouldn't Merwin. be surprising. We don't generally like guests. Like it or not, we are special guests. Merwin carries a letter of safe conduct from King Hensold. Read it, and tell the other witches to prepare for a visit. Okay, see you later. See you soon. That was a creepy way to say that. 20 wolves? Go and speak with the witches. Sway them to my point of view. I'm a professional. I know what the girl needs. You know, and I'm, I'm very good at demonstrating gratitude. That I do not doubt at all. I bet... I bet when we get to the witcher's camp, we're gonna hear the other side of the story. Oh, all the remains are gone. Could've looted all those corpses. May I ask what brings you to Kaer Morin, sir? My sister, Deirdre. She is my elf. So dear, she can. I think I... Do you know Ken Gorn's history? Not well. We have this custom. Sounds reasonable. The prop Yeah, we already... Because she is cursed. Oh, supposedly. we didn't get that last. Because she has killed too many, even for a princess. Her victims include the priestess Isildura. Truthfully, the old hag was nearing the end of her days, but that changes little. Is it certain that Deirdre caused her death? Beyond any doubt. When Miss Sabrina decided to perform a magic yeah. ritual that was to lift the curse from my sister, Deirdre went mad. Then a huge wolf emerged from behind a house, and before it could be stopped, it shredded Isildura's throat. Miss Sabrina cast a powerful spell, and the old priestess's spirit arose and said, I was killed by Deirdre Adamain, who was born beneath the Black Sun. Sabrina cast a spell, you say? I believe necromancy was banned. Okay. Oh. Uh, are you talking to me? Can I ask you, May? 
What do you think of Deirdre? I'm talking about the curse, of course. My information is limited. When we were children, several charlatans appeared. They counseled my father, examined Deirdre, told fortunes and calculated horoscopes. They brewed mysterious concoctions. Nonsense, all of it. When Deirdre was twelve, a certain mage arrived. An oneromancer. Do you know what oneromancy is? Divination based on dreams. I thought so too. This individual was an altogether different kind of specialist. The mage claimed that he needed to spend a night in Deirdre's chamber as she slept. He mixed a brew designed to amplify her dreams. The old man could barely walk, had a beard down to his waist. We suspected nothing. He did as he claimed he would do. By morning, he was gone. Several valuable items had disappeared from Deirdre's chamber, including her favorite mother of pearl comb. Only the laundresses oh. in the outskirts saw him, claiming that he had fled as if chased by demons. Well, that's better than it so could have been. So he deceived you and robbed her. Did the prince order a pursuit? Of course he did, but too late. The morning after that tragic night, Deirdre claimed the maid had raped her. Oh, My father minds. refused to believe her. The cheat was an old man, as I said, and the bed linens betrayed nothing. Deirdre fled the castle, assisted by a young stable boy, an excessively broad-shouldered oaf. My father sent out a search party, yet Deirdre had disappeared without a trace. A week later, the party found the old mage's corpse. He had been tortured. Someone had cut off his... I can do without the details. In any case, he was a thief. He could have angered many. You're right, of course. Yet folk inhabiting the area where he was found claim to have seen a young girl and boy ride through on large wolves. Wolf riding children only appear in fairy tales. You can't tell me that a 12-year-old girl and idiot stable boy managed to evade a search party, find the cheat, and... I'm suggesting nothing, merely recounting facts. Some time passed and Deirdre returned to the castle. From then on, my father ordered the dogs set upon any majors that approached. Assuming that any true sorcerer would surely manage to avoid a few bear hunting hounds and then Miss Sabrina appeared Sure then take care uh... hey, It's a quartermaster greetings How's business business witcher? I'll make sure the boys are supplied I'm not a traveling vendor. True, I'm willing to trade in some things, but I'll generally only sell unneeded or worn equipment. Surplus, you might say. Worn equipment? You must have traveled a ways. A long way. And one hardly paved with roses. Once near Bannard, I was forced to flee from the enemy through a flowery meadow, but those were mostly poppies. Who were you fighting? I wasn't serving under Brings at the time, but under Akuto. Local raids, disputes between lords. I believe it started with some dispute over Northern Mark, and ended as usual. How's that? And a plowing royal mess. Yeah. Brother versus brother, sister versus aunt, grandpa jumping in, why not? Family disputes, if you know what I mean. Old feuds, old scars. Before that, there was Dolblathana, afterwards Kovir, and now I'm here with Brings. Okay. Is Brings a good commander? Good commander, bad employer. Serving nobles is always troublesome. The only advantage is that our patron remains solvent. And the sorceress? I don't meddle in the matters of mages. They're greedy and prone to wrath. What you got for sale? Garbage. Ooh, diamond dust. Yeah, I'll take that. Uh, you're just a regular mercenary. Yep, yep, sorry. Merwin... So what's this place look like? I've never been here before. So I'm supposed to kill wolves? But there's cooks, peasants, girl... What does peasant have to say? Alright then, what does girl have to say? Thought I'd go off with you to the nearest bush? You wish! You! You snake! Okay then. Such is a soldier's lot. Hey, what is it you seek? Ah, what? What's that stench? My delicacies. Why? Sure. 
alcohol, blah, blah, blah. All right. So where the heck do I find wolves? Where am I supposed to go? Might have been infected. Yeah, I know. Uh, quests. Talk to Vesemir and kill 20 wolves. Okay. Vesemir is all the way over there. Oh. Psst. Master Geralt. Didn't I just what talk to you? I merely wish a brief word with you, sir. But reveal not to Miss Sabrina that I drew you aside. All right. Talk to me. Master. Do not defend the lass you harbor now in your castle. She is not worthy. I detest her with all my might. It will be two years now when she passed through my village with her retinue. My father, keeper of the local tavern, took in the noble party. I know not if he offended her or if it was just her whim, uh. but she tormented my father to death, slowly and cruelly, forcing my mother and me to watch. May she be damned for the ages. And no one raised a hand to stop her? It was but the princess who had a retinue of armed men and who wielded a sword herself. There was nothing anyone could do. I beg you, surrender the girl to Sabrina, who will repay her for all her ill deeds. I need to speak with the other witchers first. This is tedious. Okay. Uh, I really can't go. Whoa, what the heck was that? Any other way but this way. Whoa! Oh, f fuck no. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, it's Lambert. Oh, hey, Lambert. Hey, Wolf. Lambert. Who else is here for the winter? Vesemir and Eskel, and, well, we have guests. I know. I've been to their camp. What are you doing here? Making sure they stay out of Kaer Morhen. Our guests tried to enter Kaer Morhen? Some pompous ass showed up with an escort of dwarf mercenaries. Obviously, I couldn't let them pass. Uh... Obviously, though I hope you didn't provoke them. Didn't have a chance to. The Arcaspores sprouted first. Quite a few seem to have planted roots over the summer. I always thought they grew on the graves of the murdered. Some bad wind must have carried the spores to the valley. It's full of them now. In any case, Great. the dwarves evacuated the nobleman as soon as the plants appeared. It's been quiet since then. What the heck was that? Oh, of course, it's an Archaeus spore. Um, four, E. Oh, you're not done yet? Oh, okay. Need some help there, Lambert? You need some help? I might die. Uh, I might die. Does that save me? Uh, I have no... Oh, I do have potions to heal. Oh. Let's just eat some bread. I'm not as strong as I was. Oh. Oh my god. Can I die from poison? I guess so. Uh, yeah, I don't remember poison ever being that hard.
But I guess it is? I don't remember poison being this hard in the main game. I guess I gotta go through all this again. Great. Great. Can I go this way? Two livers, yeah, yeah, yeah. Livers? That's so many livers. Oh, this just leads to Lambert too? What's the point of the other way then? Come on, a little faster. Alright, I guess I have to drink this. Because I'm gonna get poisoned and just die. I don't recall that ever being in. Oh. I mean, yeah, I just immediately get poisoned. Before. Well, let's just take this beforehand, then. Hey, well, Lambert, but I know. Make you sure I get some. I didn't in any. What? Well, okay, then. A girl inside the yeah, Eskel's doing. I think you should talk to him. How exactly is Eskel involved? Deirdre claims destiny has bound her to Esco. Instead of figuring things out with her, Esco's gone to clear the nearby mine of monsters. Okay. In the lower courtyard with the girl. See you later. Last time I didn't get poisoned at all. It's dead. I'm gonna let you go first. Oh, you can't walk through that? Alright. Seems like such a waste of a potion, but if I get poisoned, I die. Say there's a girl. In yeah, ask how ex Deirdre wears vest. Yeah, we already. Yeah, okay. See you later. We already did that. So Eskel's over here, and I'm supposed to talk to Vesemir and Eskel. So let's just go talk to Eskel in this uh, cave. Oh, 
work, slow run speed. Oh, there's some wolves. Corpses for their livers. Because I need twenty livers. Oh, I didn't get herbalism. I guess I should have got herbalism. I might level up. If I level up, I have to take herbalism. fight that. Oh my god, it poisoned. Look, look how much damage that poison does. Am I gonna die from that? Like, what am I supposed to do? What does it give me? Thunderbolt, Cat, Tony Owl, and Swallow. Like... Doesn't seem balanced. Like, I'm positive if this was on hard difficulty, I'd be dead. Positive. Now let's make a swallow. Okay, there's Eskel the Jesave. Yeah, okay, just saved. Hey, Geralt. Eskel. I wanted to talk about Deirdre. Fine, but we should tend to the Kikimors first. We need to destroy their cocoons. The art is best for that. It's dark inside, so down a dose of cat. Is that a rhyme? The art is best for that, so down a dose of cat. Let's go. Luckily, I have a cat. Using the Ard sign. Which Ard sign? Aren't they all Ards? Oh, uh. I'm going to assume it means fire. No? Uh, aren't they all arts? Oh, I guess they're not all arts. I just call them that. Okay, that makes sense. He seems fine. I'll help him, I guess. Uh. Why didn't you just murder it while it was down? They seem to keep respawning, so I'm going to destroy this other cocoon. For 
wish my run speed was higher. Also wish I would have taken herbalism. Did it work? How did I miss this one? back out, please. Come on. First chamber is clear. Let's go deeper. Oh, great. Care to tell me something about Deirdre? Yeah, it was about 20 years ago. I rescued Deirdre's father from a gang of Bobolaks. I must have heard too many of Vesemir's stories about the eternal law of surprise. We've all heard too many of those. We the have. prince, spattered with Bobolak blood, looked at me and said, You saved my life, Witcher. As I am your debtor, say what you wish in return. All I could think of was the famous line, you will give me what you know not that you have. I shall return to Kangorn six years from now to see if destiny acted in my favor. I never went back to Kangorn. Then rumors started circulating about the curse of the Black Sun. There was confusion, but that's another story. Okay. We have Kikimors to tend to. All right, but I'll have a few more questions. All right, then. Well, I have to see. All right, really regretting not choosing herbalism, but there was no there was no herbalism in the last one. Uh, all right, whatever. I'll take the cat. Come on. I could be taking all these mushrooms. I guess I just gotta fight. Just wait until my magic regenerates. Oh, um, or I'll kill you. Then a warrior spawns. You suck at this, Sesco. chamber left. Let's take a breather. What do you know about the curse of the Black Sun? I did take an interest in it, and even bribed a certain wizard to let me look at documents drafted for the Council of Mages. I took some notes. It seems the mages screwed up as usual. Sabrina Glefisig was chosen to examine the Princess of Kangorn. It was hatred at first sight. Something about a guy. Women. It only got worse. Sabrina concluded she had enough proof to consider Deirdre a cursed mutant and to subject her to real studies. As I'm sure you've guessed, Deirdre had no intention of being examined, not least because she was a princess. She persuaded several of the prince's warriors to get rid of Sabrina. All hell broke loose at the mm. castle in Kangorn. Many died, and there was some priestess among the corpses. What did the priestess have to do with anything? Nothing. From what I know, she landed in the wrong place at the wrong time. After it was all over, Deirdre fled the castle. And the pursuit continues to this day. Exactly. I'll give you my notes on the curse when we're done with the Kikimoras. Let's get to work. 
Mm. And so the tide thickens? The plot thickens. That's that's the actual saying. That doesn't look great at all. I'm just gonna save it. Cause that doesn't look great. No friends. Hey, Eskel, don't you know, Ard? Can't you just do this? Can't you at least help? I wonder if I could just farm experience here or something. Oh no, two warriors. What do we do with Deirdre? I really don't know, Geralt. I understand Vesemir's viewpoint, but I'm not keen on surrendering the girl to the sorceress. I expect she'd meet an unpleasant end. You have to make this decision on your own. I know, though at this point the matter concerns you as well. It concerns all the Witchers. Oh. Fine, we'll consider it. Give me the notes and let's get out of here. Where'd the other remains go? There's a bot. Oh, that's like way back at the beginning of the level. Did he give me the notes? I don't see any notes here. Let's just eat some bread. It's a big bread. Nope, please take your weapon out. It's this way. Hmm, wonder why there's a corpse there. This is the way out, right? Yeah. I guess there's more than one exit for some reason. We'll speak later. All right. Guess I should go to Care Morin. Uh, I guess he's probably going there too. I'll just follow him. Okay. Thanks, game. Doesn't he know witchers run faster with their weapons out? Jeez. Ah yes, familiar Kermoran.
nothing this way. Ooh, why is it getting so clunky? There's Vesemir. Greetings, Geralt. Good thing you're here. Greetings. How is the path? Tolerable. Nothing groundbreaking. What is going on here, Vesemir? We've got a bit of a problem. The Princess of Cainghorn arrived two days ago, claiming her envious brother and an evil sorceress were pursuing her. She's asked for our protection. She's got her castles all wrong. No knights in shining armor here. She was in bad shape, hungry, cold. We didn't have the heart to drive her off. Mm -hmm. And Eskel was acting strange. Before the girl fell asleep, she said one more thing. That one cannot flee one's fate. Later, Eskel told me a story. Some 20 years ago, he saved the Prince of Cain Gorn's life. He cited the law of surprise. And as they say, destiny proved fortunate. Unbeknownst to the prince, his wife was with child. I'm not sure that was entirely fortunate. Mm -hmm. So you've heard of the curse. In any case, on a day when the sky was dark as night at high noon, the princess gave birth to a girl. As far as I know, Eskel never returned to claim the child promised him by the prince. For some reason, ever since then, he's always taken the long way around Cangorn. So, now we need to deal with the brother of Eskel's unexpected child, a retinue of mercenaries, and a sorceress bent on dissecting the woman she suspects of being a mutant. Mm -hmm. As if that's not enough, the brother carries a letter of safe conduct from King Henselt himself. So we can hardly just drive them all away. What do we do? Talk to Eskel. She's his surprise. We'll meet back at the Ford Lambert is guarding. Think it through, Wolf. I want to hear your opinion. I've spoken to him. Let's go then. What? No, I gotta... I gotta talk to the people here first. If I'm allowed to. I guess maybe I'm not allowed to? No, yeah, here I go. Greetings, Geralt. I'm Deirdre. Eskel spoke of you. I've heard a few things about you, too. If you mean from that lying shrew, Glavisig. Calm down. I don't tend to judge based on rumors. Geralt? Uh. Your wolves' eyes are glazed over with hunger. They're starved. Because of that bitch Sabrina, I cannot venture beyond the fortress walls. They choose to remain at my side, thus depriving themselves of the opportunity to hunt. You seem to have a better understanding with wolves than with humans. I raised them from when they were cubs. In a sense, they are my only friends. All right, I'll see if I can find something for them. I spotted several wyverns in the area, hmm. on the peninsula across the river from the camp. If you could slay three of them and bring me their meat, I'll reward you. Reward me? I have a runestone that can be cast into a blade. Hmm. What did you think I had in mind? Nothing. I'll be back soon. Geralt? I guess. Maybe. What do your wolves eat? Oh, meat we Deirdre, do you know what Sabrina and your brother want from you? Isn't it obvious? Sabrina wants to place my sweet little brother on the throne of Cangorn. My brother, who is entirely subservient to her, and who, as the Prince of Cangorn, will have a vote on King Hansel's council. I was asking about something else. All right, then. She believes me to be cursed, tainted in my mother's very womb. She believes me to be a monster. Are you? How the hell should I know? When I prick my finger, I bleed. I also bleed each month. When I eat too much, my stomach aches. I sing when I am joyful. And when I feel hatred, I kill. I don't know if I'm a monster. Yet I do know what Sabrina is capable of. She is a monster you seek. Okay. Explain. I'd like to hear your side. I was 19 and happy when Sabrina showed up at the castle. My father, who always preferred Merwin, was old and ill by this time, so he could no longer bother me. My brother had been away at King Hansel's court, and I could handle most of the courtiers. I was at a tender age, and I fell in love. His name was Robin. 
I even considered a morganatic marriage. Girlish fantasy. What does Sabrina have to do with this? She arrived with my brother, whom she already had on a short lead. She observed me, interrogated servants, tested the situation. My father's company of knights treated me like a daughter. I had always liked hunting, took part in manhunts for bandits. She needed proof, some spectacular way to defame me. And in your carelessness, you provided her with that proof. Sabrina decided to provoke me. She seduced Roban using magic so powerful that his mind became confused. He suddenly developed an intense fear of animals, especially of the dogs he bred. I wanted to help him. It was then I discovered that mages found it hard to cast spells in my presence, and that spells previously cast gradually subsided if I was near. I went to the small chamber Robin inhabited just above the kennel, and I found Sabrina there. I admit, I was enraged, wanting to tear her apart, but she was too quick. Wait, the hat flew out of the window on a broom. Robin was left drooling, whimpering like a child. Within an hour, he had ceased gibbering. And within two, he understood what the witch had done to him. I thought all was in order, and I could leave him. I wished to settle the score with her, and entered the castle. I know not what happened, but the spell grasped Robin once more as soon as I was gone. He began feverishly seeking Sabrina. In his wildness, he entered a pen occupied by a very aggressive hunting hound. Did he survive? Yes. Though mentally he became a two-year-old child. A child that feared animals intensely. Sabrina blamed the accident on me. I swore then that I would kill her. I carry a blade should I get the opportunity to use it. Okay. What do you want from Eskel? You can be disarmingly kind. Just answer the question. I want him to stop fleeing his destiny. And become Prince of Kangorn? Hmm. Are you feeling all right, Deirdre? Eskel is a witcher. What of it? It seems you don't know how childish your witches' mores sound. I constantly hear things like, we're witches, witches have no feelings, and so on. You don't fool me. They're like Jedi. You have feelings, emotions, you're like all people except faster. I cannot fathom why you strive so hard to hide that. It's rarely wise to fight a legend. Sometimes you have to make do with it. Perhaps. But I'm not deceived. Okay. How did you find Kaer Morin? I always know where Eskel is. I merely need to think about him. Sure, whatever. I'm. We'll see if I get your food. Uh, yeah. Is there anything else to do in this place, or should I just go with my Witcher Bros? Cause that's locked. Anything up here? Nope. All right, let's get out. Let's get out. Let me go this way. Actually, no, I don't know where I'm going. I already talked to Deidre. Where am I supposed to go now? There's why Vern's over there. I get that. Probably right there. I see people. Well, I like the little kid. She got spunk. What do you think about this dispute, Deirdre, Sabrina, and the nobleman? We should stay out of it. Geralt, we protect humans from monsters. That's our vocation. Meddling in human affairs only brings trouble. 
Do you mean the letter bearing King Hemselt's seal? Exactly. We can't afford to provoke the king. This could get sticky. Eh. I get your point. I'll see if I can learn some more. Wolf. Why is everyone outside? The keep is locked. I'd rather not unlock it with strangers around. We're better off spending a few days out in the open. That way I can be sure no one will go sniffing around the fortress. True enough. Wolf. Where's Deirdre? A little further on with her wolves. Uh. Tell me about the girl. She seems a bit strange, though I wouldn't call her a monster. Strange how? When she's near, my medallion goes wild, and I can't cast even the simplest signs. I can't explain. Oh, I should have tried. Uh. I think it's time we decided. Yeah. We need to figure out what to do with Deirdre and her brother. Askel wants everyone to say their piece. This concerns our safety and care more than a mistake could cost us dear. Yeah, I think I already know what I'm gonna choose, but all right. Let's do this. I'll start. I think we should stay out of this, meaning we can no longer shelter the girl. The reason is simple. If we meddle and Sabrina informs Henselt, Kedwin will be off limits to us for decades. Lambert, just, just kill her. I don't really care for Deirdre, but I detest the fact that some blue blood who rules three coal hills comes here demanding obedience. This is Kaer Morin. Royal authority doesn't extend here. I think we need to drive away the noble and the sorceress. What about you, Eskel? I'm torn. I understand Vesemir. On the other hand, I owe the girl. I feel some kind of bond. I'm incapable of being objective. I'd like to hear your opinion, Wolf. Uh... Nah. We can't let the sorceress get her hands on the girl. It wouldn't be right. So what do we do about Sabrina and the nobleman? Deirdre must give up her claims. That should satisfy me. Oh. And the sorceress, well, she'll have to live with her I was going to try to murder them, Either but all right. Or I'll turn her lovely little head into something to place on the map. Yeah, like that. Lambert, save your morbid lines for later. Let's try to resolve this peacefully. All right. Eskel, Geralt, go see our princess. We'll wait for you here. I was just going to murder them, but okay. Okay. I'm, I'm... I'm fine with that. Probably just makes the last fight harder or something. Because I didn't get the special rune or the special swords. Geralt? We've decided to help you. Thank you. That means a lot to me. We need to settle things with your brother. You have to go to the camp with us and tell him that you relinquish your claims to the throne and estate, thus stripping Sabrina of support. A high price, but I see no other choice. That's settled then. I'm glad, Deirdre, really. All right. Well, this is probably a trap. So. some cheese because deep dish pizzas are not the same without cheese regular pizzas are okay without cheese the fuck is that Just in case I get to have my weapon out when I start the battle. To what do we owe this procession? Merwin, there's a way to resolve this peacefully. To feed the wolves while saving the sheep. Very well. I shall hear you out. Forgetting anyone? No. This is strictly Merwin's business. We will speak with you too, Sabrina. Later. Merwin, 
I am prepared to relinquish my claim to the throne and the lands of Cairngorm. I am ready to give up my title as princess. Unconditionally? No, but I have only one. You will strike me from your mind. You will cease pursuing me and return home, taking this witch with you. Deirdre. Silence, woman. Merwin, you must see through this. This is a trick. We will draft all the necessary documents here and now. Witnesses present. All will be clarified. Merwin, don't believe them. Remember how Robin ended. That was your doing, Glevisig. You and your magic. Merwin, order brings to arrest Deirdre. Only then will your title be safe. Without that, you will live in fear always. To kill I her. Kill you, witch. Yeah. Let's do it. Oh. Um, what? Did she just accidentally stab Eskel? Look like she just stabbed Eskel. All right. Oh. Look at that, she just stabbed Eskel for some reason. Oh, there's a crossbowman. Yeah, hey friend. Where do you think you're going? Okay, so we left the peasant and the... Alright. Oh, I'll take that. Uh, ah, he's fine, alright. Really Follow Deirdre inside the tent. Oh, I thought they disappeared into the ether. Holy crap, why would... <laughs> the game is just taunting me. I thought that was a real sword. Eh, whatever. <laughs> well, better fix this fence. That's how I deal with the grief. You have anything to say? Damn dwarves. All they can do is pass wind and curse to high heaven. Alright, should auto save, so. You had it coming, brother. Instead of a prince, you'll be a dead man. And I have a special set of gifts for you, witch. Only the best. She has gone entirely mad. Witcher, help me! Sabrina, use your magic. We can defeat her! Magic does nothing to me, brother dear. Geralt, I did not intend to attack Eskel. He scared me. It was an instinctual reaction. What did he do? Abandon your plans of revenge on Sabrina. Forgive your brother. Prove the mage is wrong. Prove that you are no beast. And if I tell you I cannot find it in me to forgive? If I say that I long to put that bitch through real torture, will you see that as an admission of my guilt? I'll see you as a morbidly vengeful child, but I'm no judge. Geralt, don't be a fool. It doesn't take wisdom to see that she has lost her mind. It must be the progressing mutation. You're only guessing. Witcher, I should remind you of the letter from King Henselt himself. If anything happens to me, King Henselt will have you all eliminated. You're like children. What if I just murder you decide? all? I will. Uh, yeah. Sabrina, you must leave immediately. Your magic is useless, and your scheming brought us here. But as I said, I am neither judge nor executioner. Just leave. Geralt, have you gone mad? No. I don't know that I'm right to do this, but I'm giving you a chance to survive. But... No buts. You must go. You played your cards poorly. I don't believe a word of what you say, and something tells me that if you leave, Deirdre and Merwin will figure out their differences. Hmm. It seems I have no choice. Go now. Somebody trying a vacuum cleaner? Oh, okay, it's a portal. Uh, 
I'll get her someday. I doubt it. One last piece of advice. If you value your life, you'll settle things with your brother, return to Cainghorn, and not so much as stick your nose out of your castle for several months, perhaps years. Easily said. Merwin, can you forgive me? I will relinquish my title. I never craved power, but I need your support. I cannot do this alone. As the Witcher demonstrated, we have much to learn. I was a fool to listen to Sabrina's counsel. Look at that shoulder. Deirdre, and ask you to forgive me. Nice close-up of that shoulder. Eskel's unexpected child, Princess Deirdre Adamain, born in Destiny's shadow. She could have changed her own fate. Abandoned vengeance in favor of forgiveness, demonstrated kindness and humanity. The mercenaries were massacred in the fight at the camp. Yeah, they did. Was it worth it? Was the death of Merton Brings and his mercenaries truly the lesser evil? Yep. No one can know that. In any case, Merwin and Deirdre ruled jointly, leading Cainghorn during the best time in its history. Several years later, a large crow arrived at Kaer Morin, carrying a letter bearing the seal of the Princess of Cainghorn. Eskel threw it into the fire without reading it, and we never spoke of Deirdre Adamain again. And you never heard from them again. The Witchers never again spoke of Deirdre. <laughs> so don't worry the about it in future episodes. Each carrying her memory in his heart. Sure, yeah. So don't worry about it for future episodes or why it wasn't mentioned in the main story. No reason to talk about that. They just never spoke of it again. All right. I'm going to take a break and then I'm going to do uh, side effects. <sighs> hmm. Oh, Dandelion is his best friend, I guess. All right. See you later.